the project came about um, about a little over halfway through my junior year, so a year ago, and it was introduced to me by Professor Lonnie Simonian. He said, hey, there's this organization that gives grants for these kind of charity product projects, and I have one that I want to do, and if we could get our hands on this grant, we could make it happen, and that's how it all started. Our project was international in Ecuador. There was It was twofold, so the first one was installing solar panels on a charity that allowed it to be carbon neutral, well, not entirely carbon neutral, but break even on their electrical charges because electricity is very expensive down there. And the second was we installed a water pump that um, oh, it was solar powered and it allowed villagers to have access to fresh water via a pumping system as opposed to bucketing water from the water source back to their village. So. I think if I had to pick out a moment in the project that scared me the most was just putting together the presentation to actually win the grant that we needed. Because it was sort of like, if this falls through the cracks, what are we gonna do? We're gonna ask industry members for money, but then it's just kind of, you know, a whole new ball game of campaigning rather than actually getting to put your efforts towards the project. So I think that was probably the scariest moment. So when we were actually down there, there was a moment where everything kind of came together and it was when um, me and David were up on a ladder basically ready to flip the switch of, for the solar panels and um, we had our teammates that were doing the plumbing side up on the hill with their hand over the pipe and it's basically as soon as we flip the switch you're supposed to be able to feel that suction and be waiting for water and we kind of like flip the switch and you wait and then they're like it's working and it was just like everybody went crazy we went crazy the villagers went crazy and then about what two minutes later there was water coming out of it oh. Um, there's one picture that was probably, it, it captures the most rewarding part of the project and it's an eight-year-old boy named Orlando and he's under one of the faucets that we installed just with his face in the water drinking straight from the faucet for the first time in his life and it's just crazy to see an eight-year-old who's never had that experience so that was probably the most rewarding part of all.